Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to uh, La Papa's Plain Talks. This evening, as you can see, we're going to have Plain Talks with the artists. I'm going to let them introduce themselves in a little bit. But I wanted to um, introduce myself. I'm Tony Kellenberg. I'm the president of, <laughs> I'm, I'm the president of the Laguna Plein Air Painters Association, and this is a privilege and an honor for me uh, to be here and uh, getting to do what I get to do here with all these artists. So welcome, and I'd like to introduce Ludo Peteris, who is the owner of this lovely gallery and a member of the Laguna Plein Air Painters Association Board of Directors. She said that so well. <laughs> welcome here, and welcome to the gallery. I will introduce these wonderful artists to you now. Um, as you know, you are you all aware of what this event is all about? I mean, 35 painters that have been selected to come to Laguna Beach to paint during this course of the week, and their works are displayed on these fine walls in this wonderful gallery. In the meantime, we have these five wonderful people that have been selected, handpicked by I don't know who. But, <laughs> it's a mystery. But to bear themselves and their work to all the world in terms of all their inspirations and wonderful things that they've done. So I would like to introduce the first artist, uh, Michael Obermeyer. Raise your hand. Michael. <laughs> Bill Davidson. <laughs> Brenda Boylan. Lori Putnam and Cindy Berry. We got one of the one of the questions that people I think would be interested in is why why did you embrace plein air painting versus studio work? No matter what you want to paint, you need to paint in plein air to learn how to paint because it's it's the toughest sport out there. And so I said, okay, well. Well, what's plein air? And so, uh, I, you know, um, maybe 12 whole paintings later, I went and studied with one of the nation's best, which was kind of dumb, but, you know, I'm like that. And <laughs> I've fallen just into some really good hands, really good friends who are willing to share and teach me. And, and I'm a workaholic, so that's it. So who was the nation's best? Uh, uh, <laughs> Michael Overman. Uh, I was a, a, an illustration major at Long Beach State. I was actually going to go in as a painting major, and one of my counselors there said, "You can't make money painting. You can make a living as an illustrator." And that was perfect for me. I just wanted to paint and draw, so uh, I had a career doing that and painting on the side. And one day, I wasn't aware of what plein air painting was either. And I was making a delivery to Fieldstone Corporation in Newport, and they had these incredible early plein air paintings, originals hanging on the walls. And being an outdoor person, I saw the light they were capturing and how true it was in the atmosphere. And I, I just felt that sense of being outdoors. And right then, I knew I wanted to do that. I could be outside where I, where I like to enjoy my time and also paint at the same time. So I. Um, Everything kind of started going digital for me in illustration, and I didn't want to work on a computer all day, so I made the jump into painting, and I started selling a few, and uh, painting with a lot of the early uh, La Papa members, uh, getting to be friends with them, and painting as a group was a big help. <laughs> Tell us about your mother. <laughs> Leave it to Carol to kind of ask that type question. We got, got a little therapy last night at her house. It felt really good. <laughs> but um, I'd like to say, yeah, scotch therapy. I'd like, I'd like to say that uh, I knew what I was doing, but uh, I'm a recovery lawyer. So <laughs> and, and I really didn't know what I was doing, other than I knew I wanted to paint for a while. But when I, I'm living proof that anybody who really wants to could probably do it. I was probably the worst painter you've ever seen. And I went to probably 20 workshops in a matter of three years. 
and uh, I was absolutely horrible. It was, it, it, but I was so excited. It was astounding. <laughs> I show up. People were laughing at my work, and I didn't care. It was really so much fun. But uh, for me, it was uh, part of that is I didn't want to. I didn't want to take the slow track. So workshops from good teachers were really great for me. It, it speeds you up. And there's a lot of great teachers out there, so I recommend, you know, don't sit in your backyard or your studio and think you can get it real fast. It's a slow process, and any time anybody can help you. And so I've been teaching workshops for about six, seven years, and I probably teach about eight a year, but recently I thought I'm kind of in a slump. So I went and found, it just so happened I ran into Michael Lynch, and he rarely ever teaches, but he taught a workshop. And uh, I jumped in that, went down there for a few days, and it just reinvigorated me. So I don't think you're ever too late to learn. I'm learning all the time. Being around all these great artists is awesome. But you can walk up and steal something from them. You know, like <laughs> uh, I make sure I sit up behind everybody. <laughs> I think part of it is um, being outside. I mean, it's just like, you know, I used to fly fish and snow ski and everything. Once I found painting, all that's done. You know, because you can grab some people, really, and plain air painters are the funnest people in the world. <laughs> the hardest part is getting to the nights. I mean, most of us can get up and paint every day. It's what goes on after the painting. <laughs> <laughs> talking about barren at all but uh, you know so it's capturing the light getting loose fast paintings and I think uh, if you're going to paint a studio piece paint it from your plain air piece it's much much better yeah but I paint alone all the time <laughs> I would say it's nice to get out of the studio where you're painting alone for eight or hour, eight hours or nine hours a day, but when I go out painting plein air, I'm always alone too, so I spend a lot of alone time. Um, but I have great conversations with myself. You know, I always feel like I'm having a good time talking about it. I never argue with myself. Um, we have things called therapy. Yeah, I, know. I, have, I have kids, so. <laughs> But no, I like the painting outdoors. If, like you, I like to be outside. I mean, where else can I have an excuse to be on a beach all day and then jump in the water and paint and jump in the water? Oh. And then um, also for me, painting outdoors, I, my plein air paintings are, I think, better than my studio paintings because it keeps me loose. I see true colors and then my brush works looser. Everything's better and I trust the color that I'm seeing that I'm applying. When I get in the studio, if I've been in there too long without getting outside, everything's darker and and um, just just a little more uh, tight, more rendered, and I know I gotta get back out. Um, so I, I really prefer my finished plein air paintings to anything else that I've done. Unless you wanna buy one of my studio pieces. <laughs> I started the plein air thing, like I said earlier, because of just the learning. You know, I started later in life and I needed to get there as fast as I could get there. And so I, I you know, was told that that's, that's the way you're going to grow. I mean, it's, it's even different than painting from life in your studio, like a figure or something, because there's so many things you're battling and making all these decisions really quickly. And um, so I think that plein air for me is response to what's there and I don't have a formula you know people come to your workshops and they want you know a b c and d and how you'll get a great painting and and I, I don't have a formula I don't ever start a painting the same way twice yeah I'm, I respond to what's there and um, it would be boring to me if I painted every painting the same way I mean if I paint in Sicily, it shouldn't look like I painted Costa Maine. You know, it's different. It looks different. It should feel different. I have to agree with Lori on uh, a couple things she said. Great studio work is only happens when you have field studies done. When working in the field, that's when the good, the bad, and the ugly, to quote Clint Eastwood, but that's when the good, the bad, and the ugly happens. Yesterday, I had. A great morning. Bill copied my painting because he was behind me. <laughs> <laughs> then 
then that afternoon, I wiped off three paintings. And then I was bound, <laughs> I was bound and determined to wrestle that canvas no matter what. I was going to come out yeah. of there with the painting. So I did put something on it and I, I walked back to the car and I went, I'm going to wipe it off because, you know, canvas is expensive. So I thought, no, I'll wait till the morning and look at it with fresh eyes. And a scotch therapy last night. So <laughs> <laughs> Now the next question is going to be real interesting. So, <laughs> when you go out into the quote unquote wilds of nature, wilds of nature, <laughs> did you have any interesting or even scary experiences painting in the plain air? At one time I was painting out in, in Palm Springs, your favorite place, and I just come down from painting San Jacinto, so it's on this road just outside of the city limits, and there was a dirt road. Uh, that kind of came up to this little intersection. And I see a van out on the dirt road, and actually it was a plain air uh, week, so I thought it was Ray Roberts at the time. I thought, oh, I should go say hi to Ray. But I'll set up first, because I want to do this painting looking back at the mountains. And so I'm setting up out of the back of my car, and the van pulls up, it was a pest control van, and he drops off this blonde, and then he drives away. And then she comes ambling over, and she's like, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm doing a plein air painting. And she was like, plein air painting? I explained what it was. And I said, yeah, I just did this one this morning. I was up in the mountain. And she's like, oh, that's great. And then she goes, well, uh, for $25, would you like some inspiration? <laughs> oh, my God. And I just remember reaching for the paper towels going, are you serious? Why me? And there's no one around. And so I, I, thought, I thought, that's how I just said, well, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. And she, says, she says, okay, all right. And then she walks like five feet and made a 180 and comes back. She goes, I'm just curious, why did you say no? And I'm like, oh, I like 200 burning reasons why. I'm married. And then I thought, you know, I was a poster artist that year, and coincidentally, I had a box of my posters signed, and they were selling them for $25. So I should have said, well, I'll give you a poster. <laughs> uh, yeah. but, and, then she, I mean, and then she walked away and actually felt sorry. I felt bad. And I thought, this woman, seriously, is, this is what she's doing to make money. And I, I just, I watched her walk and put her thumb out and waiting for a car, and I thought, two things was like, Oh great, no one's going to pick her up and I'm stuck here for the next two hours. <laughs> and that part of me just had a lot of compassion for her. But uh, you know, the third car, I mean, like literally within six minutes picked her up and she was gone. And I was so excited about that story. I, I remember telling Jeff Horn, he's like, oh my god, don't tell your wife. I'm like, why? I didn't say yes. You know? I go out to clean your paint. Uh, what draws me out there mostly is that I use all of my senses. Um, I'm seeing, I'm feeling the wind on my skin. I hear the bees above me, the grass in the wind, um, the heat on my skin, the smell of lavender or whatever, um, the ocean. I'm using all of my senses and it draws me back again and again like nothing else, like a magnet. And also the camaraderie. I love going out painting with other artists because it's, it's, a, it's a different breed and we are intoxicated by, in, by painting outdoors. It's nothing else like it. I, I'm so I so love it. I become a whole nother alive. All my problems go away when I paint outside. I solve all of my problems when I'm painting outside. And I just absolutely love it. I, this has been amazing. I, I, you know, what can I say? I thought these questions were going to be a little bit on the dry side. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, you guys, you guys are wonderful. I mean, seriously, you entertained, you informed, you made us laugh. Yes, we had a little tear here and there, but and we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that twenty-five bucks thing later. <laughs>